Hello, Aries. We have a connection here where the universe is setting up a chance for resolution after a rough ending. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is an Aries tarot reading. It is a general reading from May 30th through June 5th. We're already getting into June. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you guys for next week. Okay. Oh, a date with destiny. Number 43 reduces to a seven. Okay. This is serious, serious positivity. It says, out of the ethers and into your life, she arrives now because you have a date with destiny. She is a mysterious creature. Her ways are wild and her guidance is true. She may create chaos from which a new order can emerge, but there is no need to fear. She has come to inspire, uplift, and direct you. So this means all bets are off. You couldn't possibly predict how this is going to go, whatever the situation is. Okay. Because it's not within your control anyway. So let's see. And this is also when miraculous things can happen. Right? Let's see what energy is going to complement this date with destiny. Sometimes she feels like an actual date, but I'm not getting that this time. Okay. Mm hmm. Nothing is yet set in stone. Yep. Just, this is a whole Jesus take the wheel kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Let's see. No? Okay. I'll take this one then. Let's see what's going on for Aries. May 30th through June 5th, please. Okay, let's dig in. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Swords. The World. Ten of Cups. Temperance card of Sagittarius. Eight of Wands. Four of Cups. Interesting with the two eights on your side here. So I'm seeing someone who is kind of crushing it at life right now. <laughs> is kind of crushing it at life right now. Aries, I'm going to read this side is you, this side is your person, and this is the situation. Wheel of Fortune, change, change in fortune. Okay. Um, I'm seeing because the, with the two eights here and it's like contradictory between wanting to talk and wanting to not see this thing. Okay. Even though this is in between those two variables, happiness with another person. Okay. Um, so this is, this is a situation. It feels like it's coming back around for resolution. Okay. It is something that ended before with another, with, um, a fixed sign. So who's that? That's uh, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Um, Temperance card of Sagittarius, four of cups. This is, this is an offer you're not going to see coming in at all. This person is more balanced than they were before. They've completed significant cycles of their own. They could have had a change in fortune. I feel like I feel like they may have a change of fortune in the negative and perhaps you did in the positive. Okay. Cause here we have someone. Someone who wants their empress back. Okay. And they know you're they You are doing fine without them. They know. 
Okay. So there is this with, with this wheel of fortune judgment, this is and, and the world even, this is when the universe is kind of, is taking over. This is not okay. Because I because I know some readers are just when it comes to like the judgment card, especially with the wheel of fortune, it's like you shouldn't wait for the universe to do things for you. And da, 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 da. It's like, but the universe does do some things for you. <laughs> I can I can I can give you a list of personal experiences. Okay, a list. But I've noticed that when the universe does do things for you is when you're crushing it in your own life. Okay. When you're crushing it in your own life, moving forward, being happy on your own, being financially stable on your own, just working on your own healing on yourself and just growing because your manifestation power just grows and grows and grows and you just attract all these wonderful things, that's when the universe steps in to kind of support that, right? So if you have the wish of, you know, I wish this situation was resolved with this person, you can tell the universe if you can create a path that is healthy for the two of us to come back together and resolve, you know, please do that if it's safe for me to do that. And please do that in the next two years. Right. You always have to give a time frame to the universe. I've said this before in videos. You could say, I want to meet the love of my life. Okay. But you don't give a time frame. You could be on your deathbed and the, and the nurse pulling your plug is the love of your life. And it's, it's funny, but it's not funny, right? <laughs> So that's why you have to give the universe an outline, parameters, saying, yes, this is what I want. And you could say it in the form of a prayer if that's how you're most comfortable doing it. Um, and you say, like, I would like, to, I would like resolution for this connection to happen in this lifetime, in the next two years, in a way that's very healthy for the both of us to reconnect. And then you let it go. And then you move forward with your life you know, you crush it on your own. You could have 10 of cups with someone else, right? And this could come back in some sort of way where it's like, hey, we're, we're, we've been strangers for so long. We're barely acquaintances now. Remember this thing that happened? Can we resolve this? Cool, thanks. You know, and it, it could end up being a smoother transition than you ever could have thought. Okay. But this person is coming back around. You're not going to see them coming. You're just not going to see them coming. You've got serious momentum in your life overall, and you're just crushing it. Okay. So let's expand on the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Five of Swords. Queen of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, Hanged Man. Six of Swords, Magician, someone is stepping into their manifestation power, and they have been, that one wanted to come out too, and they have been wanting to reconnect with you because they've been spying on you. Someone has been spying on you. Someone has taken a look at the investment that they're in, looks like with a Queen of Cups, and they're seeing that in a new way. And there's something that's been holding them, holding them from moving on from that. We'll, we'll come back to that. But it looks like they're trying to manifest at least a plan. Because two of ones is also new partnerships or contracts. It's a choice point as well, sure. And someone knows they messed up a divinely guided soulmate connection they effed up okay at least they admit it okay let's expand on the eight of swords on aries side please six of wands a sword this person's coming back to tell you the truth if, if they didn't if if their ego got in the way Okay, if their ego got in the way of some sort of even indecision, who that was a rough ending. So after things, it could have, yeah, it could have, it could have started at work. It could have been about money. 
um, this person went into a hiatus to review this ending. That's a whole cycle right there. Um, to review this ending. And now they're coming back in with a truth to be told. Okay. Ten of Cups. Let's expand on the Ten of Cups, please. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Yeah, you've got choices, my dear. There, you showing up again as the Empress Nine of Pentacles. You have choices. So many wonderful choices. You could be dating when this person comes back in. You could be building a new business when this person comes back in. You're going to be at such a place of personal strength that if this goes wrong, it's not going to mess you up like it did last time. You're just going to be like, oh, okay, we can't get on the same page. Cool. All right. Well, best of luck to you. And they'll probably flip out <laughs> about that if they haven't done as much healing work as you have on yourself, right? Because uh, people who haven't are very, very easy to trigger. But I'm seeing nothing but choices, options, and opportunity here. So dating, starting a new business, you could already be in a relationship and be happy with someone else. Okay. Let's expand on the eight of wands. The Tower, Scorpio Energy, Two of Swords, Hierophant, Card of Taurus. So there might be some little bit of argument back and forth between your pages here, but the Sun is underlying that Leo Energy. So there, there's you're gonna you're gonna get to the bottom of things here. This communication is going to be enlightening. Okay, there's going to be. A breakthrough regarding indecision about moving forward with commitment. About not wanting to even see that it was there. And I don't feel like that's you. I feel like that's them. It's because now you're the one that doesn't want to see that it's there. <laughs> okay. Let's clarify their side and see where we go. Okay. I feel like their spirit team is actually stepping in more in their uh, human experience. This is something they may not know how to fully navigate yet. But I'm getting that for some. It's like all of, a, all of a sudden their guides have managed to find a way to get their attention. Let's expand on the world, please. Wheel of Fortune again. Yep, change in fortune. Yep, tried to hold it back. Tried to push away. Yep, okay. The funny thing is, is perhaps they thought you were the toxic temptation, the temptation, when really they were already in the burden, okay? Thinking they already had a soulmate connection with someone, and they didn't. They didn't. Okay. If this is not them and this is you, then th that's when this connection got to a point of toxicity as much as you had love here on your end. And they're the ones that held back. So you put this sucker down. I call. There's Scorpio Capricorn energy there again with Six of Cups. Okay. So it looks like after this completed with you, there was a change in actual fortune here. Okay. Be all because they pushed away their happiness with someone that they found stupid attractive, by the way. Showing up as the Queen of Wands. There you are. And you have Ten of Cups on both sides. If Emperor or Emperor Empress or one or the other comes out, this is this is starting a hat tip towards a twin flame connection. But this is the universe is taking over because after this ending, you both finally got to the point where it's like, okay, I'm going to move on with my life and heal and move forward and forget about this person as difficult as it probably was because you both are showing up as acknowledging, you know, Ten of Cups here. Um and that's when the universe is able to take it from you 
because when you're still holding on to that person's energy, they can't take it from you, remold it and redeliver it to you as something better. Okay. Temperance card of Sagittarius. Let's expand on that, please. Page of wands. Ace of wands. There's the emperor. There you are. Two of wands. High priestess. Sun. Hierophant. Justice. Mo wow. Yeah, this is, this is, we're, we're dancing that line of twin flame territory, guys. We really are. We really are here. Um, high priestess. Pisces energy. Moon. More Pisces energy. Sun. Leo. Hierophant. Taurus. Justice. Libra. This is big. We're starting to lean into, this is divine masculine and feminine right here. This is marriage. Okay, this is marriage. And the um, Hierophant and the High Priestess are that, are that twin flame connection in 5D form. Okay. It's, this wants to be talked about. This person wants to come in, talk about how they've had passion for you this entire time and want a new choice point in uh, partnership with you. You have the Two of Wands twice now. Okay. Four of Cups. Tell me more about the Four of Cups, please. Empress. Yep. Twin Flame Connection. Judgment. Ho, ho, ho. They both came out again. Yep. This, this person, this person wants long-term. I'm just, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I'm, I just heard, um, uh, what's the song? Um, Jagged Edge, Let's Get Married. <laughs> God, I haven't heard that in like 15 years. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. This, this person ain't messing around. It took this topsy turvy situation, this loss of you, loss of their fortune. It's like it's it's kind of crazy how you, how you have to strip away all of the everything in a person's life for them to actually get what's really important. Okay, this is the date with destiny. This wheel of fortune, world wheel of fortune, just and tower, just getting hit with all of this. Okay. So is there anything I need to go back and expand on? Because after doing this side, I think all questions were answered. They're coming back in. You don't see them coming. They were in another thing with someone else. So they wouldn't do anything to move this forward. But now they want to manifest, trying to manifest, at least get a strategy on how to approach. Okay. Now they realize, oh shit, I pushed away my twin flame. It's amazing what people have to lose in order to get it, right? Okay. I'm moving on to the extended. I'm going to see this feels this feels like the masculine energy. This feels like the masculine energy even though they're not they're not necessarily an emperor yet. Okay. Because you came up as the empress, so let's 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 call them the emperor just to separate the two of your energies. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the extended. I'm gonna see what's going on with this emperor in his current energy. I'm gonna see what's going on with him in his near future, as well as the final outcome of this connection in this lifetime. So, if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about this connection at this point in time messages from this emperor about this connection at this point in time feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys over there bye